What's up guys? Back with another video today, still in uh, Hayal do Cabo. Uh, this is the third day and it's a Monday. Don't know how busy it's gonna be. Heading towards a Praia do Forno, which is a small beach that you can basically take a trail up and then head down. It's, it has a beautiful view. Um, I've been there before a couple years ago, never really filmed. Uh, so we're gonna walk there and I'm gonna show you along the way a little bit of downtown Ahayal do Cabo and some of the side streets. So let's go. So right now I'm on the street that I was staying, that I'm staying on uh, during the trip. It's kind of like a, a semi-busy street, but a side street nonetheless. another hot day as well just uh, you can probably tell from the sun and fully blue skies so I had a few issues with some uh, with the drone and uh, saving my files as well uh, but I was able to get some good footage so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, at the beginning so Harold Cap is generally like a halt like a town where a lot of Brazilians come to spend their holidays uh, here's a bike trail so this beach in particular uh, they have rules it's the only one I think that pretty much has uh, certain rules you can't bring glass bottles you can't bring uh, like a music speaker any of that stuff you can't even bring a drone so that's a bummer and the trail is actually pretty high up it'll be chill so check it out So weekends are definitely the busiest here. Tons of people come to do the boat trips. As you saw in the video from the other day. Hilarious how uh, <laughs> people can complain about music. They didn't get the music they wanted. So it is a really, really safe place uh, to be. I would just suggest not bringing a ton of stuff. I brought one backpack with the stuff that I needed. More, more so camera gear and things like that, but basically enough clothes for four days, even if you're going to stay five or six. But generally, I, I would recommend staying at least three to four days if you can it, and get one of those boat tours. It's pretty cool, as long as you don't get the drama like I did. Now I'm supposed to turn off on one of these streets, just don't remember. So 
So I'll start filming when I get closer to busy stuff. Make sure as well, if you're as white as I am, to be honest, it doesn't even matter. Just bring some sunscreen. <laughs> the sun is brutal for everybody, but for me, even more so. I'm already burned. I don't know if you could see that in the initial part of this video. Just make sure you have enough sunscreen <laughs> and apply it. Sun is brutal. Quite a beautiful neighborhood though. A beautiful town overall. Kinda of reminds me of a small town in Portugal by the by the beach. It's pretty awesome. There's one of the buggies. They have those buggies tours here as well, but I, I, I don't really find it all that interesting, to be honest. So let's get to the end of the street and check out the view. So guys, got to this beach. This is not the beach I'm going to, but this is uh, Praia dos Anjos. Angel of the... Oh, beach, of, beach of the Angels. Not going to be staying at this one though. Just wanted to give a look. It's always windy at this beach. And not that busy today. Some bars that you can have a drink, kiosks, I guess. Let's take another look at the beach. I just wanted to show you guys the kiosk. In fact, this is where all the boats basically dock and the marina is just up straight ahead. Uh, let's go this way. Change my mind. Water is crystal clear actually and usually this beach is the kind of like the ugliest of them all here in comparison but very nice today. Generally, these types of uh, beaches, like Caribbean type waters, it has to be super sunny to be crystal clear. So, and it is today. apartments that those weren't here before newly built it always seems to be in construction here for like resort uh, hotels and things like that so let's get all the way we'll see what at the end of this uh, trail here this walkway show you guys the a little bit of the marina I think I showed it in the last video a lot how busy it was but I'll show you uh, 
what it looks like kind of a little more somber and quiet. So, see you there. So there's the, mar the marina. The marina. Sorry if you can't hear me, it's really, really windy here. That's why I don't really stay on this beach. Do a little zoom there. So here's the marina, the entranceway or the main headquarters. And I'm coming up to a little square, Praça, Pracinha. During the night it's more lively. And we got some people here, so that's good. I'm just gonna cross and take, show you guys there as well. So there's a bunch of restaurants and like stores all around here, kiosks. Square. Can sit here and chill, have a drink. It's usually, it, like I said, it's really, really busy uh, in the evening, especially on the weekend. A lot of choice of restaurants and bars that you can choose from. So. That's another street full of shops. There's the entrance way, one of the entrance ways to the, the boats down this street. I have to pay attention that I don't get run over by a car here. <laughs> they have a really good uh, Portuguese restaurant here too. I was there once. A little pricey, but amazing food. There's no denying that. Almost up the trail, guys, to get to Pride de Forno. If you guys are liking the video, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps out. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Thank you. Açaí. My my suggestion is they've got a, so they've got a lot of these tours. Oh, obrigado. A lot of these tours, uh, like uh, trips, day trips and stuff, just do the research on the price and the company before you uh, decide which one you want to do. That's what I would, that's my 100%. Oh, let's take a look here. I forgot to show you. There's an old style church here. Beautiful blue one. I guess the Portuguese created that one. Let's do a zoom in there. close today. Sometimes you can go in and check it out, not today. Pretty beautiful. So let's continue. Come on, buy a car. <laughs> that girl just called her boyfriend, I guess, a uh, scrotum. <laughs> scrotum, it's very similar. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm gonna do a video about the Portuguese swear words so you guys can learn some. They have uh, scuba diving. They also have taxi boats where you, they can, they'll take you over to the beaches as well. I took one over to 
the beach yesterday because the, the tour, the, the trip that we took on the boat was kind of ruined, unfortunately. And there's the port that you have to go to when you're taking one of those boats, just straight ahead. I don't know if you can see. Let's do a little zoom. I, I, should, I walked through there the other day, so. And we're at the trail. So here we go. I don't know what's going on here, but let's find out. So you can't bring glass bottles. You can't bring a music box, as I mentioned. They even check your bags and stuff. So just make sure you don't bring that stuff. And a drone, unfortunately, you can't bring. That's fine. I don't know if you can see, yeah. So this is the trail to the beach. What that? What that? What that? What that? What that? What that? Looks like somebody got arrested on the beach. That's not good. <laughs> Just give you guys a look from here. Let's continue on. I think it's a long way. And I'm carrying a bag full of beer cans and ice. So it's a trail with stones and dirt. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we're at the top yet. I don't remember. I know I wasn't vlogging, that's for sure. Just to give you guys a look how high it really is. It's kind of a secluded beach, so that's why there's a trail. I'm just gonna take a breather. I would suggest buying your drinks and everything here or before you get to the beach. It's much cheaper, that's for sure. I heard the girl saying. I think she said it was two reyes for ice cold water at the entrance and on the beach five. So, a bit of a price difference. See if we can check the view of the beach from here. It's a little bit more difficult, but wow. So let's go down. So we made it to the very nice lookout where you can take a lot of pictures. Of you. 
still a long way down. <laughs> Now going down. We're here. Damn, it looks good. Oh, man. Look at all those people in the water. Crazy. So once I get situated guys, I'm gonna do a walk up and down the beach. So stay tuned. And if you're liking the video, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Okay guys, so let's check out the beach and take a walk, as I promised. Amazing beach, guys. Definitely worth checking out if you're here in Arahel do Cabo. I tend to go to all the beaches, so. So it's not a huge beach, so the walk's not going to be forever. <laughs> They even have a snorkeling rental if you want to use it. I even saw a sea turtle here, earlier.
can still buy all the same things you get on the beaches in uh, Rio as well. The other thing that I noticed uh, that's changed in the last two years is they have some like vendors passing by now. This never happened before. It's probably because of the pandemic, I guess a lot of people lost their job and don't have a lot of money so they resort to selling stuff. And the water is uh, warm, kind of warm. The further you go out, it gets colder. colder. <laughs> Hope you can hear me because it's pretty windy here today. Beach is amazing. I'm staying pretty much the rest of the day today. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It really helps out a lot. I appreciate it. So a chair rental and the umbrella and all that is, I think it's 50 reais, which <laughs> nowhere near the price that you'd pay in uh, Copacabana. It's about twice the price. And, uh, but if you do buy food here, I think it's 100 reais. If you spend 100 and, 100 and something reais, you get the chair and all that stuff for free. So it's worth, if you're gonna eat here, it's definitely worth it. seagulls here and there's spider-man selling ice cream I guess a lot of spots to choose from if you want to stay any part of the beach pretty much all the same price people are getting off here I know there's a lot of Argentinians here. I can hear Spanish. Olá, família 
Looks like this part of the beach is where they drop off people with water taxis, boat taxis. One thing about filming in uh, hot weather, like in Brazil, the camera gets just really hot. Sometimes shuts off before I'm able to film. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. <laughs> The end of the beach is a boardwalk. Let's go over to the dock there. Crazy view from here, that's for sure. And this is probably where I'll end the video. Let's see if I can get a good view. I'm not wearing any sh shoes or anything here, and it's rocky. So guys, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna have a f I probably a couple more videos uh, here in, Ira in Arahel de Cabo. And uh, definitely gonna have a GoPro, uh, GoPro. My GoPro died, so that's a whole different story. But I'm gonna have a uh, drone, some drone footage, probably like seven minutes or something above the town so you can see how it looks. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. So. Until the next video guys, thanks for watching uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.